Hey everyone, this is Rima's Culinary Adventures and today we are making spicy chickpea curry. I'm making this curry with canned chickpeas which I've drained and rinsed. I'm also using whole spices, I think they bring out the best flavor. Here I have some coriander seeds, cumin seeds and fennel seeds which I've ground into a coarse powder. To make this recipe even quicker, you can use powdered spices instead. But I really like using coarsely ground seeds here because as you eat your curry, you get little pops of flavor here and there and it's just absolutely lovely. Then you have your usual suspects, diced red onions, salt, ginger garlic paste, tomato puree, turmeric powder, some garam masala, some chili powder, your rinsed and washed chickpeas or some water or vegetable stock to turn it all into a lovely curry. And for garnish, I like to use some coriander leaves and some fried onions. Place a pan over high heat and add in your oil. Once the oil's hot, add in the sugar and let it caramelize. Caramelizing a bit of sugar in the oil before all of the other ingredients go in helps the curry in many ways. It helps deepen the color of the curry and you get a a little bit of a caramelized flavor in the background which is quite lovely then add in your bay leaves dry chilies a stick of cinnamon and fry until you can smell the lovely flavors in the air then add in your coarsely crowned spices and fry everything until it's aromatic and golden whole spices have a tendency to burn so make sure that your heat is on medium and have a close eye on it it should only take you about a minute or so then add in the diced onion and your salt and saute until everything is lovely and caramelized. I like to cook my onions on medium, medium low heat to ensure that it sweats and then starts to caramelize instead of getting fried. Caramelized onions impart a lovely flavor to the final result and it's absolutely worth taking your time here. You want to cook your onions down with the lid on ensuring to stir every once in a while until your onions are cooked through and the oil starts to separate. With the onions done, now it's time to add in my ginger garlic paste. Here I've grated fresh ginger and garlic, which I almost always have on hand, but store-bought ginger garlic paste works wonderfully as well. Here we are looking to cook down the ginger garlic paste till the raw flavors disappear and the oil starts to separate. This should not take very long, but we definitely want to get rid of the raw flavors here. Then we add in our tomato passata or tomato puree and cook it down till it reduces to a thick paste. Here we are looking to evaporate most of the liquid, so it's okay to leave your heat a little bit high, but make sure that you stir often so that nothing burns. Also, to make sure that things evaporate a lot faster, it would really help to keep the lid slightly ajar. Once it's nice and thick and the oil is starting to separate, I add in my turmeric powder and garam masala and saute for 30 seconds or so to fry them off. Frying off spices and oil really unlocks their flavor, so it's definitely worth your while to add it in before anything liquid goes in. Then I added my chili powder and fry it off as well. With my spices cooked down nicely, it's time to add in my chickpeas. Stirring to combine everything very well, I just saute my chickpeas for about two to three minutes and then I add in my water. You can absolutely use some vegetable stock here as well. Also, here I'm using canned chickpeas that I have washed and drained completely. But if you wanted to prepare your chickpeas from scratch, you can definitely soak some dried chickpeas and then boil them till they are softened. Then I leave it to simmer away for 20 minutes or so on low to medium low heat till my chickpea has cooked through with the lid on and stirring every once in a while till my chickpeas are nice and soft and the sauce is reduced to my desired consistency. To check if my chickpeas are done, just push them through with a spoon and if they fall apart easily then you're done. This is also the best time to check your seasonings and add a pinch of salt or pepper as needed. Then fishing out the whole spices if you prefer, stir in as much or as little coriander leaf as you want and just before serving garnish with more coriander leaves, julienne ginger, crispy fried onions, serve with rice, pulaos, puris, parathas and enjoy. Please like, subscribe and comment if you like this recipe. Thanks for watching and have a happy day.